of you to the joy welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm like Roland Fast position son of boy can't try program me Rebel from the year one Real bad girl son of boy can't try program me Today's video, I'm going to be doing a showing you guys my hygiene products. These hygiene products that I have range from what I use from head to toe. I've been using these products for over the last couple years. Some of them I just picked up like almost a couple months ago. These products work great on my skin. They're technically like one of my favorites, like my go-to stuff that I use like all the time. To be specific, my skin type is like a dry skin type. I have eczema, so basically that's my skin type. So basically my skin is kind of dry. I don't really have oily skin, so you know, if you have oily skin, then these products might not work for you, but some products might work for you, if that makes sense. But I feel like just, you know, me showing you guys my product might help somebody out there. So I just decided to just basically show you guys like the stuff I use, like my hygiene stuff. So yeah, I'm just basically gonna tell you guys like what products I use. I have them like sitting right beside me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this hygiene products video. So the first product right here that I use is this Equa Aquifer. Basically, it's Aquifer, right? But I got the knockoff version because it's like, well, not the, I don't want to say knockoff version. I got the cheaper version because I'm cheap like that. Um, this is like about $13. It's kind of on the pricey side, but it works great on my skin. Really good if you have like dry skin like me. I've been using it for like the past like four years now. I meant to me by my dermatologist at first. Ever since then, I've been using it. It works great on my skin. I put it on my face. It'll leave your skin nice and oily. I recommend this. Like I have. The dog whistle. We're out of here. Dog whistles. Not that I don't mind dog whistles, but like it just kind of it's weird. I'm like I don't got no dog. Anyways, so the next product I have, I use this in the shower, and this is the Tree Hut Scrub. It's in the scent turmeric. But girl, you know, you, you should know about this. If you don't know about this, this is basically like a sugar scrub. So like basically when you're done showering, you would use this after you shower and like exfoliate your skin. You can use exfoliating gloves. It's like the best combo with this uh, sugar scrub right here. I really like it. I would definitely recommend this. Like a good way to get all the dead skin off. This leaves you smelling good. Like it doesn't like to smell good. And I got this at Walmart. It was like, what? like six dollars or so the product that i use is also six dollars so yeah and i forgot to mention this bottles at walmart what i have is this dove cucumber so you can basically buy this at your any like at any grocery store I think just any store in general i know dove is a pretty common brand if you haven't heard of dove then it's like you sleep under a rock? I'm just playing. This is like one of my favorite like body soaps. The thing about Dove soap is that you don't need to use a lot in order for you to like, you know, like feel clean if that makes sense. So it's very thick, so it has like a very thick consistency. A little just goes a long way and that's what I like about it. Like it's pretty pricey, so I feel like with a little bit is good enough. It's like on the high end side. The product I have, I don't really use this that much, but this is just like the Alba Bontanica Hawaiian Detox Scrub. This is from TJ Maxx a couple years ago. It says it has Parabians, it's hypoallergenic, it has vegetarian stuff, I don't know. I don't use it that much, but it's good though. It was like about six or four dollars. The thing I have is this Cetaphil. I used to use Cetaphil a lot in high school. This was like my first ever facial cleanser I got. It was also recommended to me by a dermatologist. This is what they recommended me. Well, not this exact kind, the gentle skin cleanser. I finished that one, I ended up buying this one. It actually works, you know, works the same for me. It's actually kind of pricey as well, but I don't use it that much anymore, to be honest. It was about like $10 or so. You can see the bottle's pretty big. It makes sense. What I have is another facial cleanser, which is the Apricot Scrub Equate version. I used to use this a lot too, but I don't really use it that much anymore. Usually, usually my skin's so nice and soft. I like the smell of it also. It really is a great way to exfoliate. Like if you have this, like the little, um, what's it called? The spin brush. Works great. Definitely would recommend. Next product I have. Okay, this is hair wide, like for my scalp. I use the Wild Growth Hair Oil. One of my favorite oils to use. You know about this oil, you know it's pretty expensive. About like $12. How many ounces is this? I don't even know. Oh, it's four fluid ounces. It's really not a lot. I recommend using this like once every three days. Not every day, but like once every other day. Next product I have another facial product, which is Equate Beauty Skin Cream with Eucalyptus Oil. Another knockoff version for Nanzima. You know what Nanzima is? I'm gonna open it for you guys. But yeah, this is basically how it looks like. It's kind of like clay texture almost. Honestly, this is like my go-to skin product right now. Like I use it every day. Like there's not one day I don't use this. I like the way it smells to be honest. That's probably why I picked it up. I don't know. I like how it leaves my skin afterwards when I wash my face and stuff like that. Next thing I have, I don't really have the product inside here, but I have the box for reference. It is the Dove Sensitive Skin. Hey, finger focus. I use the Dove Sensitive Skin. Bar soap. I definitely love this because it's like hypoallergenic. If you're the type of person who doesn't like to shower with like scented soaps, like fragrant soaps and all that stuff, then I definitely recommend like, you know, like what's it called? I definitely recommend this bar soap. Any like dough soap that's like 
fragrance free, you know what I mean? People, you know, who don't like fragrance, so like allergic to like scented stuff. I definitely recommend this. It was like about a dollar. I get it from Dollar Tree. So, you know, it's not that expensive. This thing I have, this is lotion. This is like my everyday moisturizer that I use and I get it, I got it from Walmart. This is the Equate body oil gel. Focus, God damn, focus, bro. Let me tell y'all, this is the holy grail. Like, this is like, this is the holy grail, okay? Like, this is what I use all the time. Like, this has never failed me. You thought you failed me, but this has never failed me. Like, I will use this all the time. This is perfect for my skin. I feel like regular lotion doesn't work for my skin. Lotion's consistency is not that thick, but like, when it comes to body gel, it just, like, it's just amazing. I like using body gel. This one, it smells good, it's cocoa. Like, I'll literally like have this on, and then the next day I'll wake up, my skin feels so soft, so smooth. I really love this. Like, this is like forever gonna be like my favorite like moisturizer. I think it was about like $2, $3. Definitely a 10 out of 10. To the next product. This was recommended to me by my doctor. Can't really buy it off the shelves. I still just put it in the video. It's just this steroid cream that I use. As far as the name, I could try reading the name. It's Clotermol. Clotrimazole and betamus. That that you um you had you you. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I I just call it the the yellow medicine because obviously like the bottom part is yellow. It's good for my eczema as well. Like whenever I tend to like flare up, this is what I use. Fortunately, you can't buy this off the shelf. This was prescribed to me. Definitely, this is a ten out of ten as well. Last thing that I have, this is from Bath and Body Works. I don't really use it that much. It's Zen Garden. Eucalyptus uh, lotion. This consists of mimosa, pink pepper, yin lang. Is it? Oh, lang lang. Higher peace and reflection. I know they have meanings to it, but I'm just not finding that out. I like this. This smells really good. Oh my god, it smells so good. Y'all go to Bath and Body Works. Make sure y'all go smell this because it smells mad good. How much it cost it. If you guys truly enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you truly want to see a part two, not really a part two, but if you guys want to see me like shop for hygiene products or do like a feminine hygiene like tips and stuff like that, then also don't forget to leave that in the comments down below. Bye guys!